Hello everyone, today is March 1st and what I'm showing you here is the micro e-mini S&P. I'll also show you the e-mini S&P and the NASDAQ. Now the software, the Atlas Line, has done very well today. Those of you who have the Atlas Line software, as you know, have the same exact orders, exact signals, exact opportunities as what you're seeing here. So there's no optimization involved. The one thing I'm going to say is that when you have a trending day, don't fight the trend. So for example, the Atlas line is, is this blue dashed line up here is automatically created. It's not a trend line. It's not a moving average. It's something unique. It uses price action. And the idea is to really focus on shorting opportunities whenever the price is trading below the Atlas line. So the first signal of the day is here, short 43.64.75. Great. Once this trade is over, it's the main signal, we have all these additional strength and pullback trades as you see. That's a great opportunity to go short. The next short signal will occur at this point only if the price action agrees. Now what is the price action? The price action is either a strength based on price action or a pullback based on price action. So we're looking for two things. We're looking for the trend to continue lower. We're looking for a pullback or a strength trade and the software will tell you exactly when and where to enter. Now remember a pattern is just a pattern. So you can have patterns of pullback and patterns of strength at any time whether the market's going up or the market's going down. What's important though is to make sure that the health of the trend is on your side and that's what we use the Atlas line for. Every signal here if the market continues lower will produce a new shorting opportunity and if it does not if it's just a pattern of a pullback and just a pattern of strength but yet the market is not moving lower and that's really the key here is using the two functions of a pattern and price action there won't be a signal to go short so we're not fighting the trend we're not catching a falling knife we're not fighting whatever's happening we're really following the price action. So this is the micro e-mini for today. Let's switch over to the e-mini S&P. This is the e-mini S&P using the Atlas line. Very similar. Obviously the micro and the e-mini go hand in hand in tandem. And so you can see it's a very similar situation occurring. Let's move over to the NASDAQ. A lot of traders that I work with look at the NASDAQ. Here is the, the NASDAQ market. A little bit different, we have a short signal, we have a long signal, and then we have a continuation of the short. And then once again, if the market continues lower and lower and lower and lower, we're going to have these strength and pullback signals. Let me just expand this out here for everybody to see, just like this. All right. Um, we're, as far as I can tell, let me just expand this out. You're going to see in just a few moments the market providing a short signal if it stays where it is so you actually learn how these signals are generated we'll look at one more market a lot of traders have been asking me about the crude oil let me pop on the crude oil here and show you what's happening give it just a moment to load up and calculate the atlas line data and this here is a completely different situation we are long this is a long right over here first signal of the day at about 9 50 10 o'clock to go long another long opportunity right at the beginning of the move and then the market just kept on going higher and higher now in the back end of the atlas line there's a couple of settings here one is a filter when the market is too slow now i have this filter set to one but one on the crude oil does not correlate so we have to remove that it has to use a different type of scaling or calculation based on the ATR. So there's a filter here when the market's too slow, you can set it to whatever you want. You can say, for example, when the market is too slow below four cents or two cents or whatever the case may be, you say, I don't want to see a signal. I'm going to put it to zero. So I want to see all the signals. And when I do that, you can see all the P's and the S's, the pullback and strength trades that are being generated for us to continue long on this market. So here is a great example of a long on the crude oil and here is a great example for today uh, short on the e-mini S&P. If you have any questions feel free to reach out daytrade2win.com we have a great accelerated mentorship program which includes all of the software TradeScalper, Atlas Line, Blueprint, Roadmap rolled up into one it's an accelerated mentorship program with lifetime licenses. My name is John Paul. I will see everyone at the next video.
If you're new to day trading and want to learn more on the benefits of trading the markets, visit daytrade2win.com, join the next mentorship class starting later this month, and subscribe to the Day Trade to Win YouTube channel. We focus on price action and work exclusively with new and beginner traders who want to learn more on how to prosper from trading.